Hi, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Popo LaCroix. Today we are trapped in Gamby Gamby Devil's Castle, and with no way out, we can't get out. Can we go back to this elevator? No, we can't, but what's this? A door? Huh. Could it be a way out? From the smell, it seems like it's a trash chute. I bet it could lead outside the castle. So if we jump into the chute, we should be able to escape. Yeah, I believe so. Pietro, what do you think? Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Best we can do. Let's go! Yeah! It sure does stink, but here goes nothing. Uh, I'd rather smell than die. I mean, this is really a no-brainer. Whoa! Oh, bam! I love the sparks on the white knight. It's a really nice touch. It's, it's the little things. It's really the little things with this game. Whoa! And there he goes. Gammy Gammy Devil himself. Holy shit! Oh, he looks scared. I love his parachute. <laughs> oh, it's just so ridiculous. Whoa, there's a trash chute. Hey, here we are. Is everyone alright? I'm okay. Yeah, me too. But the castle's been totally devastated. The yacht part must be gone with it. But we still have the plans. We'll just ask the blacksmith to make a new one. What is that? I don't know. It looks like a giant mushroom. Isn't that the Gammy Gammy Devil? He's heading towards Popolo Croix. We should follow him. Yeah. And uh, if you want to, you can go to um, Gammy Gammy City, and it's perfectly fine. And the castle is pretty much perfectly fine, too. But you just can't go past... Once you go up to the fifth floor and you go to that inn and you keep on moving, you can't actually get into that castle itself proper. So make sure that you get that stuff. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to meet you uh, back down in Tekkenen Village. Yeah, that's where it says that we need to go, so I'm going to meet you there. I'm back in the village. Let's head on inside. Ah... Isn't that Gammy Gammy Devil? We need to hurry. Just leave him there. Narcia, he just tried to blow us up. Why are you helping him? I can't just leave him. He's hurt. Are you alright? Narcia, she's like an angel. What the? Where am I? <laughs> I love the look on his face and his reactions. He really is like a soap opera villain, I've gotta say. Ha! I guess I owe you now. Fine. I'll give you the yacht part. Oh, Gammy Gammy. Address me as the Great Gammy Gammy Devil. Thank you, Great Gammy Gammy Devil. Oh, well, take this and save your mother. And Narcia, my little forest bunny, I'll see you again. <laughs> oh god, poor Gammy Gammy Devil, he's so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, and then he has to take his whole parachute with him too, of course. Take care, great Gammy Gammy Devil. Okay, let's go pay Posh to have a visit. Sweet. Well, seriously? Like, what the hell? I didn't even move. Like, I didn't even frickin' move, and I got into a random battle. Like, what the hell is that? And then I'm on manual. But anyway, I'm just gonna go, uh, meet you at Posht, or Pesela, meet you at, uh, uh Poshtov. So, uh, I'll catch you there. Well, here we are in Pesela with our yacht piece, ready to, uh, build this flying yacht. Head over to Brionia. That's it! The yacht part! He finished it for you! With this part, I can finally finish the flying yacht! It's about time. Hey, you guys! What is that even from? I don't even know. We're going to start now. Okay, like Tweedledee and Tweedledum uh, gets to help. We need all the help we can get. Would you lend us a hand? Sure. 
What is that Hey You Guys thing from? It, it must be from like a cartoon from whenever I was um, young. I can't, I can't think of what it was though. There was like some like really annoying girl and she would just go, Hey you guys! And then like everybody would like run away from her or something. I don't know, was it like Tiny Toon Adventures or... Uh, Animaniacs maybe? I, uh, I don't know. I, I, if anybody knows, let me know because I'm kind of like racking my brain here. This is kind of oddly reminiscent, <laughs> oddly reminiscent of uh, the Final Fantasy IV airship building scenes, and there was a couple of them in Final Fantasy V as well. Except he is the two stupidest assistants ever. Like, what are they doing here? They're like poking a snot bubble. They're like, I can. My booger is bigger than your booger. Like, what the hell is this? I, I don't understand it. If you're gonna build it, build it. And also, you just had like, you were just missing this one little teeny part for the yacht and you couldn't do anything on it like you couldn't even like hammer and nail the wood together like come on lazy this is the flying yacht the vehicle of my dreams it works on the sea or in the air you've helped me complete it therefore i'll let you use the flying yacht to take you where you need to go you're going to brionia right how do you know it's no secret narcia told me i also know about your business there as well Poshtov. I normally wouldn't allow just anyone to borrow my yacht. But you've proven yourselves worthy, and I'll let you borrow it. Pietro. I went and told him everything, I'm sorry. And there's something else you need to know about me. Forest witches must stay on land. We can't go anywhere near seawater. I'm sorry, I must leave you now. I can't go to Brionia. I'll say a prayer for you. Be safe and good luck. Return to us when you found a way to break the curse. Narcia, thank you for your prayers. Pietro, she's a good friend. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Then I'll open the gate to the dock. Well, I'm ready. I don't see what what's, what, what the holdup is. Yeah, sure. Let's go to Brionia. The hell do I have to do here? I've been everywhere else, and I backtracked everywhere else, too. My God. You haven't had to see the backtracking, but believe me, there's been some backtracking. So, here we go. Off we go. Just the guys. Like in Final Fantasy IV when they're going to the moon and they kicked Rosa and Riddy off the uh, blue whale. Same deal here, except uh, Rosa and Riddy have stayed. Narcia's a pansy and she's staying behind. <laughs> no, I can't fault her for that. She can't go anywhere near seawater. She's a forest witch. She'll die. No, really, she, she will. And so, Pietro and the White Knight head for Brionia. Their flying yacht moves out onto the sea, and for a while, all is smooth sailing. But up ahead, troubled waters await them. Something's wrong. The ship's being surrounded by fog. Gilda, what is it? The fog hides a terrible monster who will attack the ship. Oh, I, I must go and warn them! Narcia, where do you think you're going? I've told you what would happen to a forest witch if she touches seawater. I know, but... Pietro and White Knight are my friends. I want to help them. You know if you do this, your body could dissolve. I knew it was wrong to let you interact with humans. That prince has been nothing but trouble. Don't say that. Pietro is... Why do you care so much about what happens to him? Since you're so determined, give me your hand. Here's the gold key. This is the treasure of Pope Lacroix. I am in charge of protecting it. The king won't like that I let you take it, but it will help Pietro. Thank you. It'll transform you into anything that you want. I suggest that you become human so the seawater can't hurt you. Oh, well, there you go. Easy enough. Just tell them your name is Kai when they meet your human form. You can't tell anyone about the gold key. Only you and I know of its powers. If you tell its secret, you'll lose all of your own forest witch powers. I understand. Thank you, Gilda. One more thing you need to know. Kai is the one helping Pietro. He may become attached to Kai instead of Narcia. Do you understand? That's the risk you take when you take on another identity. Are you willing to take that chance? 
Okay, you must hurry. Huh, it's a love triangle. It's become so foggy, it's impossible to see anything. No kidding. How long is this fog going to last? White night? Suddenly, I'm getting sleepy. That is the most ridiculous Cacron I've ever seen in my life. It looks like, like it's like a little tiny squid. Like we've seen uh, Cacron in Final Fantasy and the one in uh, Earthbound. They're huge. This thing's tiny and retarded looking. Let's eat. Let's eat you. Let's have some calamari. Like seriously. Whoa! I'll take care of it. BAM! Ha! <laughs> Kick the crap out of you. You alright, Pietro? Uh, I'm fine. How do you know my name? Oh, well, that's because I'm a friend of Narcia's? Narcia? Yeah, that's right. She sent me to help you since she couldn't come herself. My name's Kai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Kai. Thanks for saving us. You're really strong. You're welcome. I feel like I've been sleeping for a long time. Huh? Who's this? Ugh, you would have been someone's dinner if I hadn't come along. You should thank me. This is a flying ship, right? Yeah, but we're waiting for Brioni to appear before we start flying the ship. Look up in the sky. Brioni is right over there. Duh, Pietro. Look, up there! Mm. Right! That's the island of Brionia! Fascinating! What do you say? We pay them a visit! Yeah! thinking oh. of another word myself. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Just a little fear of flying. I'll be fine. Let's go! Ah! The time has come. I must find a way to save my mother. You mean we, Prince Pietro. I will always be at your side. Okay, awesome. We're in Brionia, which we are going to explore next time. And let's play Popo LaCroix. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.